You clicked on this video probably because you're in the market for a laser or you didn't know what a laser was or a CO2 laser was and how you could incorporate it in your shop. A CO2 laser is a highly precise tool that can cut or engrave acrylic, wood, paper, leather, all kinds of different projects. Makers around the world have been using laser engravers to personalize their projects for sale and use in their shops and you can make a very high profit margin on some of these projects. I've got several friends who have OhmTech and highly recommended it, but you should know that I did receive a discount on this machine. I want to be upfront with that. I did not get this machine for free. So why would you want a laser engraver? A laser engraver is such a versatile tool for any shop and can really help you stand out from the competition if you're planning on selling products. A plain cutting board is great and it's functional, but a personalized cutting board really uh, can make your product unique and it can set you apart from the ones that you can buy on Amazon or in the store. People are always looking for something unique for birthdays, for weddings and holidays. If you wanna prototype something, then you can make several design iterations with the laser before you come up with the final product. And then once you have the final product, you can mass produce those products over and over. If you've been following me on social media, you know that organizing my shop has been one of my top priorities. I designed several different projects uh, on the laser for my shop, and not only can I sell the finished product, but I can also sell the designs on my Etsy for others to use as well. And here's a shameless plug for you to go check out my Etsy. If you're seriously considering a new laser for your shop, there are a few different categories that I wanna talk about to help you make that decision. I do have experience operating a laser because my previous machine was a 40 watt laser from Full Spectrum. That machine is called the Full Spectrum Muse Laser. It was a desktop machine. It served me really well for a long time, but it did have its uh, limitations, starting with the cutting capacity. Now, Ohm Tech also carries smaller versions like the one I'm talking about, and that size machine may work for you if you're just getting started, uh, or if you're limited on the amount of dedicated space that you can have for your laser. The cutting and engraving capacity of my previous machine was a 12 by 20 inch machine and worked for engravings like cutting boards and making small signs. I laser etched metal on that machine and it, I was pretty happy with it, but the wattage was also an issue for that machine when my projects finally outgrew the power that it could put out. I started cutting out signs that were a quarter inch material, uh, but it required me to make multiple passes on the other machine. If you're running a weekend side hustle like me, then you probably don't have the time to wait for multiple passes on a machine to do what you need. With limited time in the shop on the weekends, I need a machine that could cut through quarter inch or half inch material in seconds. Okay, on capacity. For capacity, there are various different options. The numbers that are listed in the model number are generally the size capacity of the machine for cutting and engraving. For example, this is an AF3555, which means that it has a 35 by 55 inch cutting capacity. It's auto focus, whereas the AF2440 can do 24 by 40 and also an auto focusing machine. But I knew that I wanted a larger capacity machine, so I opted for the 3555, one that has a larger footprint. For what I make, I wanted the largest cutting capacity that I could squeeze into my shop. Okay, let's talk about power. The range of lasers varies quite a bit for the hobbyist from small three to four watt diode lasers all the way up to 155 watts and greater. My very first laser was a four watt diode laser, which attached to my very small CNC. Those diode lasers can take an incredibly long time to laser etch anything, which is why I ended up getting the 40 watt CO2 laser. For the average DIYer, a 40 watt laser can be an incredible upgrade or even a first machine. Like I mentioned before, it worked for me for several years, but you should research what types of materials and thicknesses you can cut or engrave. Think about it this way. You could get a small flashlight that takes one to two AAA batteries, or you can get a larger flashlight that puts out a lot more light. If you're perfectly comfortable using the smaller light and you can get around without stubbing your toe, then great. But if that's gonna be a frustration for you, then you probably wanna go with the little bit of an upgrade. It's the same with lasers. The more power that you have in that laser, the greater thickness the material can cut. OhmTech carries a variety of wattages in their machines from desktop machines under 50 watts to mid-range between 50 and 80 watts to even higher powered machines like this, which range between 100 and 150 watts. The larger versions of this OhmTech laser is the AF4063. 
Now you know that the numbers represent the cutting dimensions, so the larger machine can cut up to 40 inches by 63 inches. And it's a monster machine. With a larger footprint, they squeeze in a bigger tube, a much larger tube. My 40 watt laser had probably about a 20 to 24 inch tube, whereas this machine has about a four foot tube. If you're wanting to cut thick materials like half inch wood, you're gonna wanna consider higher wattage machines like this AF3555, uh, which is the 130 watt machine. I know, what does it cost? <laughs> At this point, if the projects and scope that I've discussed sounds like something you wanna get into, you're probably thinking about cost. What is the ROI? What's my return on my investment? So the smaller desktop machines from Ohmtech, they have an eight inch by 12 inch cutting capacity and they only cost about $500. Not bad, right? Say you get a machine that you just wanna engrave a few small projects in from time to time, if you sell a dozen of uh, personalized cutting boards, for example, or projects, it probably pays for itself rather quickly. However, once you start selling products and putting it out there, people are going to find out and you're gonna start taking on more and more jobs. It won't be long before you consider a machine that can cut or engrave faster and larger products. Maybe you upgrade to a 50 watt desktop machine with a rotary so that way you can start engraving some tumblers and that might run you about $2,000. Or let's say you go with a mid-range machine that does 50 to 80 watts. That way you can keep up with demand. The mid-range machines can run between $2,000 and $4,700 depending on the wattage, the size, and if you have a manual focus or an auto-focusing machine like this one. I skipped this category altogether because I didn't want to regret not getting the largest machine that I could possibly fit in my shop. Once you start getting into the higher powered category between 100 and 150 watts, you're gonna probably be spending anywhere from $3,800 to $8,000. And I'll let that sink in for just a second. But before you click away, let me walk you through the numbers that I did when I was considering the machine to buy. My machine retails for about $7,000, but stick around till the end of the video and I'm gonna share a discount code with you and it will be in the description below for any of the Ohmtech machines that we've discussed here today. You're probably gonna have this machine for greater than three years, but I'm gonna use three years as my benchmark for discussion. If you net $194 per month over the next three years, this machine will have paid for itself. But if I'm using it every weekend like I should be doing, I should be able to double, quadruple, or even exceed that number and pay it off in a much shorter period of time. If you get the manual focus 100 watt machine, let's say that machine is about $4,000, that means that over the three year time frame, all you need to net is $111 per month, especially around Christmas, you're going to far exceed those limits. And if you start selling on Marketplace or putting it on Etsy, word is gonna get out that you've got a great machine and you will be paying for this machine in a very short period of time. If this is your full-time job, this is probably an easy decision for you because this machine will pay for itself rather quickly. I'm gonna be doing quite a few more videos on lasers, so if you found value in this video, consider subscribing and hit like so that I know you've enjoyed what I've talked about. Check out some of my other videos right here. Honestly, throw me a bone here.